has two patterns with exponents of its powers. These are powers of two. You can make patterns and some interesting things we will find out here. This is a very famous pattern because it is used so much in computers. Even the makeup of computers that is with the binary digits, you have zeros and ones. This is used a lot in there. Two to the first power is just two. Two squared would be two times two. Two cubed is eight. Two to the fourth power. You see, I can just take this number and double it. You know, multiply it by two one more time. Sixteen. And then I take this and double it to get this one. Thirty-two. Multiply this times two one more time to get this one. Sixty-four. One hundred twenty-eight. 256, 512, and then 1024. Here we're going to go backwards, so to speak. I'll start with 10 to the 6th power and go down and see what we will find out for this interesting thing here, 10 to the 0th power. What's that going to be? Okay, well this I can use my shortcut. Remember, you just put six zeros after your one. If they fit. Okay, a million. Then here, five zeros. So it's 100,000. Here would be 10,000. Here would be 1,000. This would be 100. This would be 10. And then what? Okay, if I look at this pattern of numbers, then in each step when I'm going down, I divide by 10. Okay, just like here, when I went this way, I was multiplying by 2 in each step. Here I am, instead of multiplying, I'm dividing, and instead of 2, I do it by 10, because this base number is 10. Divide by 10, divide by 10, you see, in each step I divide by 10. So logically speaking, if I take the next step, 10 divided by 10 gives me 1 here for 10 to the 0th power. And you want to do this with other numbers too, to make sure. If I just tell you that, you know, any number to the 0th power will actually be 1, maybe you don't believe me. But try it out. Put 2 here. 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 5th, and so on. 2 to the 1st power, 2 to the 2nd power, and so on. And see if you will get a logical procession where you have to divide by 2 in each step and get 1 in that step. Try it with 3, and 4, and 5, and so on. But you know what? I'll go even further. What if my next step would be 10 to the negative 1st power? Okay, 10 to the negative second power. Those are actually used in math too. You don't have to worry about them in sixth grade yet, but I'll show you them anyway. I just take this number and divide it by 10. Logically, I get 1 tenth. And this number divided by 10, logically, I get 1 hundredth. And so on it goes. This pattern actually continues indefinitely. Okay, I hope this was helpful.